Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use the console from Anthropic, the creators of Claude. The console is a little bit like the playground from OpenAI, this little backend system here. And it's a bit of a different product from Claude itself. It's where you access your API keys, where you can use this, dandy, this very handy little tool to generate high quality prompts very quickly, and where you can experiment with the different models that Anthropic has to offer. So in this video, we're going to get you set up and running very quickly with Anthropic. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I run an AI powered SEO agency. More importantly, I run an online community, the AI ranking and automation hub, where we teach you everything you need to know about how to use these AI tools for marketing and for SEO, including some very, very cool automations. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the description in this video below. But today we're going to show you how to end how to use the console from Anthropic. Firstly, you want to go to this URL, which I'll leave linked in the video description below. That's console.anthropic.com. And you can sign up with whatever you want. I'll sign up with Google, make a quick account here. You'll have to do the general sign up information, industry optional. I'll leave everything optional for now. And right away, I can sign on to the Anthropic console and they text me and it takes me to the dashboard. The dashboard is up where I can see all of these things here. I can start prompting with Claude right away as in testing the tool. I can generate prompts. I'll show you this tool in a second. I can invite other people into my account. This is why I can get my API key. And I can see the prompt library that Anthropic have made. You might have seen a very similar thing from OpenAI. This is just a very cool way to see what all the functionalities and things you can do with Claude AI that you didn't realize were possible. I highly recommend you take a look at this because they might kind of, they might bring up a lot of ideas and prompt a lot of ideas here. Really interestingly, they give you $5 credits. If you claim them, you need to uh, claim them with a telephone number. I have already done this, so I can't do it again. But I suggest that you claim these $5 credits to use the API because you get access to, to use it quite a lot. And the $5 can really go a long way, particularly if you're using this tool by yourself. So once you put your phone number in there, you'll get a code which you'll have to input in there. I have already done this, so I'll take you to the account where I have already uh, I've already accessed the credits here. Just so we understand, this console is a bit of a different product than the normal Claude 3.5 Sonnet or whatever you're using in Claude. Whilst yes, it is the same language model, it's just it's a bit of a different product altogether. But if you wanna get started right away with the console from Anthropic, you can start prompting with Claude right away. This is a prompt that I've generated before, but I'm going to delete this so we can start all together from a brand new component here. So at the moment, I don't have any prompts, but when you click the workbench, but when you click the start prompting or you click the workbench, it'll take you here. We're going to name this test prompt, um, test here. We can either start writing the prompt right away as we would with any other language model, or we can use this very quick generate prompt button and I'll show you that in a second. The cool thing about this is that you can write your prompt in the left hand side and then you can see the results of that on the right hand side. Really nice, um, very much like the feature you get with uh, Claude, using Claude in the other side of, of Anthropic's tool. But I wanna show you this very cool tool which is generate prompt and makes your workflow a lot easier. If you click that, it'll open up this very cool little pop-up where you just explain the prompt or what it is you want Claude to do and it'll expand and improve the prompt a lot better so that your output when using any of the language models from Anthropic is going to be a lot better. So for this instance, what we're going to do is a bit of a prompt rewriter. What it's going to do is take the contents of a blog and then rewrite that content for a LinkedIn post, let's say. So I'll show you my prompt to create a prompt with all its mistakes so you can see how good this thing is. So I want to, uh, I've told it to take the blog content I will provide and create a LinkedIn post from it. Ensure that the link post provides a lot of value from the contents of the blog. Uh, the post must be no longer than 200 words and encourage interaction. I'll leave all those spelling mistakes there. So you know that once I start generating the prompt, it still really understands all of that. Now, this is great, not good for my spelling, but it's a really, really helpful tool. And now you can start seeing the pretty 
beautiful prompt that it's generated for me from my horrendous prompt itself that had a lot of spelling mistakes. It, you know, it gives it the task, you are tasked with creating high quality, engaging LinkedIn posts based on everything. It puts the blog content here in variables. That's really important to come in a second. And then it defines uh, what the LinkedIn post should have, the structure, opening hook, main insights or takeaways, conclusion or call to action. I mean, I wouldn't have written such a good prompt. So now once you're happy with that, you can start editing. Now this will appear on the left hand side, the, the prompt itself that it just generated for you. And when you click on the blog content variable, it'll ask you to input that data. I've got content of a random blog. I'm just gonna put the whole value in there. So this blog content variable will just be placed in here. And then we go run and we see what it's come out with. Now the blog itself is quite long. I'm gonna show you here while it's generating this. The blog is here, uh, recall command why you need it. It's a dog training uh, blog itself. And then if we go to Anthropic now, it's put the LinkedIn post um, with, you know, pretty good and appropriate emojis. I don't mind that as a dog owner, it's made, it's given it three essential points of it. And then it's incentivized or try to incentivize some interaction, which is what you want uh, from a LinkedIn post and even provided some pretty good uh, provided some really good hashtags. So really cool. And by the way, this this prompting tool doesn't just work for Anthropic Claude. It can be used with ChatGPT as well. I often <laughs> use it to create my prompts for ChatGPT and mend it a little bit and then use it in other ecosystems. It's really, really good. There's other things that you can do here. So you can set a system prompt. So a prompt for this whole conversation, we can tell it to act like a social media manager, for example. This is just like using the front end of Claude. You can copy and paste really that right there. Uh, but the system prompt is the prompt you want this kind of conversation to have as a whole, as an overarching thing. Um, it won't change too much unless you change this system prompt quite a bit. We can rerun this and see if it's made a bit of a difference to the output. Not too much, but that's all right. I'm really happy with that. Now we can change this to text the output just so we can see the just so we can see what it might look like on other platforms. We can change the model settings, which makes it a very interesting thing to play around with. At the moment, I'm using the latest model, which is Sonnet 3.5, the best one by far. But we can test Opus, Sonnet, Haiku, and all the other models from Claude. Temperature is the same as the temperature in OpenAI. It's the variation of the output that you're going to get or the creativity, if you want to think about it. The, the higher the temperature, the creative or the more creative that answer will be and the token sample output, meaning the max tokens that the response can use. A really nice thing here is that if I change this prompt at the moment, so let's say structure for LinkedIn, uh, conclusion or call to action and uh, and the prompt with a woof because of the dog training thing, right? But if I then run it again, if it's done everything correctly, it should end the, the whole thing with a woof. There you go, woof. <laughs> and if I don't like the variation of the prompt, what I can do is go version history and I go, uh, well, I've got a couple of versions of this prompt that I've worked with, I actually like variation two more. I can change this and if I go back to the structure of the LinkedIn uh, instructions, you can see that the woof section isn't in there anymore. So a really nice tidy way to work on your prompts. I really like this. When you're using the, the get code section is very useful if you're using the API in other different platforms. It kind of creates the prompt for you already to kind of copy and paste into whatever application you're using with it, particularly if you're creating applications with Claude with Claude's API, but I'll leave that for now. And then finally, you can rename your prompt or delete the prompt that you are working with. The next thing that you really should know is the get your API keys. That's where you get your API keys that you can use throughout other uh, platforms. The things that you really want to do though is the organization name. You want to put the organization name and all the other business details here. You can invite members through the members and invite section and the plans and billings. If you have approved your $5 credits, you'll see the remaining credits here. Once you're out of that credit, you can upgrade into either 
pay as you go. And then if you are a very large company, you can go to scale here. Once you've got your paid information in there, you can set your rate limits much like you can with the OpenAI Playground. And then really interesting, you can use, you can see your usage. So for example, I've today I've used 29,000 tokens, which isn't that much uh, in terms of input and then the output tokens as well is uh, 3,370. So the tokens output that it's generated for me or the API has generated for me today. And what that has costed me is about uh, 12 cents using the Sonnet, which is pretty good. And that's it. That's all you really need to know to get started with a co with console from Anthropic. One of the best, a really, really easy and handy tool to know where to get your API keys. And the, my favorite really is how to generate a prompt. This is a very, very handy tool. Just, and once you approve those free tokens, you can use this and create a lot of quick prompts that are quite high quality. If you wanna see other videos on anything related to Claude or Anthropic, just leave it in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.